Hello, everyone. I'm very happy to be in class with you. And uh, I would like to thank teacher Laura uh, for allowing me to share the story of Watchman Nee. Teacher Laura said that day's topic is uh, Mandarin and uh, leadership. First, by worldly standards, Watchman Nee was not a successful leader, but a failed one. Why do I see that? Why do I see that? Because he was expelled from the church he founded three times in his life. Are you asking me? Is this true? Yes, it is true. So, brothers and sisters, let me tell you. This is such a Chinese who used his life to witness the greatness of the Lord Jesus Christ, not only when he was alive, but also after his death. Today, I will share from four aspects. First, the influence of missionaries on Watchmanese family. Second, Margaret E. Barber's Influence on Watchman Nee. Third, Watchman Nee's theological thoughts and the local church. Fourth, Watchman Nee's faith testimony. Okay, Watchman Nee, he is the most influential church leader in the Chinese church in the 20th century. He was born in Guangdong province, China in 1903, died in prison in 1972. Three generations of his family were related to missionaries. His grandparents studied in church school when they were children and were among the earliest Christians in China. And his grandfather later became one of the earliest pastors in China. He has been a pastor in Fujian for 28 years until death. His parents are second-generation Christians who attended church schools and uh, even worked in Christian institutions. Watchman Nee himself was a third-generation Christian. However, he was the first person in his family to oppose Christian organizations. When he was in high school, he persuaded his parents to uh, withdraw from Western churches and started to establish a local Chinese church, which was very successful. We have seen that three generations of Watchmanese family were able to obtain the salvation of Christ thanks to the missionary work of missionaries. However, when they needed to pursue the richness of Christ more deeply, missionaries were not able to satisfy them, and Watchman Nee was able to withdraw from Western Christianity and uh, establish a local church. It is based on his understanding of biblical truth. At that time, many missionaries were even attracted by Watchman Nee's local church and uh, voluntarily quit their mother church to follow Watchman Nee. At this time, 
What money was still a young people? Among all the missionaries, the one who helped Watchman Nee the most spiritually was Margaret E. Barber. She was from England, but she quit the Anglican Church and became an unpaid independent missionary. She eventually died in China. She not only helped Watchman Nee in theological thinking, but also influenced what many in life. The most important thing is to learn to experience the lessons of the cross. When misunderstood and criticized, do not take the initiative to defend yourself. Watch Mani was expelled from the church three times in his life. He could have protested or excommunicated those who condemned him, but he did not do so. Instead, he silently endured the humiliation. This was a spiritual lesson he learned from Barber. Watchman Nee's contribution has two aspects. The first is his uh, theology, theological thought. The second is the local church he established. In terms of theology, Watchman Nee is most famous for his two books, The Spiritual Man and the normal Christian life. I hope that student must read the book, Normal Christian Life. This was written and published directly in English while he was traveling in England. However, Watchman Nee's theological writings are far less than these two books. Part of his life's pulpit missions are collected in two sets of books. The most recommended set is the collected works of Watchman Nee. I have already found someone to donate an English version to APTS, which will be sent to our library in a few months. The two books the Spiritual Man and uh, the Normal Christian Life are Watchman Nee's early works. Written in his young, the theological content pays more uh, attention to human needs, such as the uh, spiritual life of Christian and how people should enjoy and experience God. But in his middle age, he paid more attention to God's needs, such as God's eternal will, God's plan, which is theocentric theology. But what is most widely understood about Watchman Nee's theology today is the human aspect, that is, humanistic theology. In 1922, the local church movement advocated by Watchman Nee began in Fuzhou, gradually spread throughout the country, and increasingly attracted the attention of European and American churches. By 1949, there were 700 local churches in China, which more than 70,000 saints gathered together. After more than 70 years of development, the number of local churches in China has reached thousands, with more than 3 million members. Outside of China, according to 2012 statistics, churches have been established in more than 100 countries 
around the world, and the number of churches established has exceeded 4,000. So, how did Watchman Nee lead the local church? First, he has many co-workers. Second, Every church will appoint elders to manage the church. Third, submit to the authority of the church. Watchman Nee never fired a co-workers in his life, but he himself has fired three times. He never defended himself. It later turned out that he had been uh, wronged and that those who fired him were remorseful. In 1942, Watchman Nee saw that his co-workers and elders were very poor, and some were sick and died in their middle age. Therefore, he went into business to make money to provide for these people. Instead, these people accused him of being greedy for money. And it was these people who fired Watchman Nee. Ironically, they continued to receive financial support from Watchman Nee for several years to come. This is how Watchman Nee led the church. In 1952, because Watchman Nee did not accept the policy of integrating church and state, he was arrested and imprisoned. It lasted 20 years and finally died in Prison. In April this year, I went to the USA to visit an old man who had been in prison together with Watchman Nee for nine years. He told me that in fact, Watchman Nee had a chance to gain freedom, but the condition was that he publicly denied his faith. As long as Watchman Nee publicly denied his faith, he could go home immediately, but he refused. The old man told me that Watchman Nee was a murderer who died for his faith. At the last moment of his life, he wrote a passage that can be regarded as a declaration of his faith. We can read together. Christ is the Son of God. He died to atone for men's sin, and after three days rose again. This is the most important fast in the universe. I die believing in Christ. Watch my knee. Last year, I produced a documentary, God's Servant Watch My Knee, telling the story of Watch My Knee's testimony and the local church. If you are interested, you can watch it by scanning the QR code Thank you all.